Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the thrift series. This is season three, episode one of my thrift with me series, which means that this is episode 68 of my thrifting adventures. And I am super pumped to be back thrifting in 2021. It's a new year. It's a new year of thrifting. And so I'm super pumped that you guys are here on my channel for today's video. I decided to switch it up and not go to Goodwill today because I've been dying to go to my favorite place in Nashville, which is Music City thrift i go here every once in a while but it's kind of far away from where i live so i don't make it over here quite that often but i was just feeling the need to get out and go for a longer drive today if you guys have been with my channel you know that jason and i are looking for a house to buy here in nashville and it has been quite the process and i posted a video last week or maybe the week before talking about the process of finding a home falling in love with it and then going through the disappointment of not getting it and so we've just been on a little bit of an emotional roller coaster over the last couple of weeks but I am really excited to be out thrifting I needed to clear my mind and I wasn't really planning on going thrifting but after the week that we've had just with all this house stuff I have just felt such an itch to get out and like get my mind off of house hunting so here we are starting off season three I decided that my 2021 goal for the year is to stay pretty comfortable so I I am in a Madewell quarter zip and then I've got on my girlfriend collective leggings and some sneakers that I just got for my birthday. These are like a Hoka shoe. I'll show you guys when I get out of the car. So I'm in leggings today, which I don't think I've really ever filmed a thrift video in active wear, but that's the vibe of this year. I feel like I just wasn't really feeling like putting on jeans. So this is where we're at. We're going to go in and see what we can find. I am super pumped. I've never left Music City Thrift without something amazing, so I have really high expectations of course as i say that i'm probably gonna not find anything but fingers crossed this place is actually amazing so i'm really really pumped to see what they have and so let's go on in and see what there is and with the hope of spring upon us i have on my flower mask i'm so ready for spring i'm so ready for warmer weather normally i'm a big winter person but for some reason not this last year so bring on bring on spring So this is my favorite, favorite place. There's so much stuff here, always. Like, the racks are full, and I feel like sometimes Goodwills can get a little bit sparse, but there's always so much good stuff here. So I'm gonna start in sweaters because I feel like a lot of people are probably cleaning out their closets and getting rid of their sweaters, and I wanna be the first to grab them. found a bunch of sweaters and I'm in trouble. I feel like I could come here every single day and still find a ton of stuff. So now I'm gonna go through long sleeve tops. They have this entire little display of Valentine's Day stuffed animals, but they always have so much stuff here. So I'm gonna look through long sleeve tops and see what I can find. Hopping over to the blazers and the dresses and hopefully I can find something here. I didn't find anything in long sleeve tops, but it's probably for the best because I grabbed a lot of sweaters. So we're gonna see what pieces there are. I found this really long blazer that I really like, that I think would be cool. 
Okay, so I was gonna look through dresses, but then there were a couple of people in the aisle, so I thought I'd bounce over to bags. I've been kind of bouncing around a lot because there are quite a few people here. But now I'm in the bags. This one's actually kind of cute in this brown distressed looking bag. They have got so many pairs of boots here. So if you're looking for some taller boots, they've got a lot. All right, so now that there's nobody over here in dresses, I'm gonna look through all the dresses and they've got a ton here. They also have these really pretty prom dresses, but hopefully I can find something. Okay, so there is another rack of dresses that I can't quite go through yet. So I'm over here at the short sleeve tops now and we're gonna see what there is. I did pick up one dress that I thought was really cool, this like polka dot one. So I've got like a good amount of stuff. So I'm really hoping I don't find too much more because I really can't leave with like 20 pieces. So we'll see. I almost forgot to show you guys. These are my new running shoes. Just got these in today. I got these for my birthday, but they didn't ship until this last week. But I love the gold. I am over in the jackets and these are not my size but I wanted to show you guys. They have some amazing vintage jackets like this olive green one and then this like fur one. Bomber jackets. This one I thought was amazing but it's not my size. But I love the like quilting on it. bunch of racks that they just set out with stuff from the back so all new stuff okay i wasn't feeling super great about this thrift trip until the last rack that i just went through i just found like five or six really cute spring made ball tops in my size so we're just gonna get all of them because they're so cute like look at these patterns like I just hit the made ball jackpot, so I'm gonna grab all of these and then I'm pretty sure I'm done. I'm actually in the boot aisle. It's a lot of boots. <laughs> okay, I just got done and I am literally dead because I spent $80, but I got five or six pieces from Madewell and I think I got the cutest spring haul I've literally ever done. You guys are gonna die over these prints and colors and it's just so happy and like oh I'm so pumped because these are some actually like really cute clothes that I would legit go pay full price for. So I cannot wait to show you guys all the stuff that I got. I think I maybe got like 10 pieces. Okay so now I'm gonna show you guys all of the pieces that I got and you guys are gonna freak out because I think this actually might be 
one of the best hauls I've ever done. And I'll give you a little sneak peek of the colors, but y'all, I have never, ever, ever found this much Madewell stuff ever. And I also just got some really amazing sweaters. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into it because I actually picked up a lot of pieces. Like I said, I spent about $80 at the thrift store, so... Okay, so the first piece is this blouse. This is a Madewell blouse. So if these don't fit, I figured I could just throw them up on my Poshmark, but I'm really hoping that they fit because I got so many of these. This is this really pretty blue blouse and it's this gorgeous navy color and then it has the cutest little drawstring sleeves. So I'm really excited to throw this on. I just found a lot of really good spring and summer pieces and I've never found Madewell like this before. So it has a little v-neck and I think this one actually is supposed to fit a little bit looser. So I'm really excited to try this one on. Okay, so this is the first top and I have got it paired with my Madewell Perfect Vintage jean i have not worn blue jeans in forever i normally wear black denim in the fall and winter but i think that this top is the cutest top ever i cannot believe i found so many madewell pieces but how stinking cute is this for the spring it has the most adorable little tie on the sleeve and this really really pretty v-neck style so i am so excited to try on all the rest of them i think this is so cute though i love the way it looks with blue denim i could also see this paired with white denim or some white shorts but i think this is so so cute and i'm really really excited to try on the rest the next piece that i found is this dress which just so happened to fit into my entire haul i don't know i didn't plan this haul to be so cohesive but when i look at this i'm like how did i plan this so this is a dress. This is a universal thread dress. So it's a target dress and it's a maxi But I just thought this print was so gorgeous and I really really loved this little v-neck with these flutter sleeves So I thought this would be so cute on and like I said, it is a maxi it fits super loose But it has these ruffle tiers down the front and I just love this color and this pattern I think it's so so pretty. I love this like rust color and I thought this would be so so stinking cute so i'm really excited to try this one i'm pretty sure i'm trying to figure out what's the front and what's the back i think this actually might be oh so it's actually not a v-neck i didn't even notice this until now it actually buttons right here and so it's actually a high neck dress so we'll see what this looks like i don't wear a lot of high neck pieces but we'll definitely have to try this on because me holding it up looks just terrible. Okay, so this is the dress and I realized that it is not the most flattering thing because it's super loose, but it is so comfortable. I can just see myself wearing this out in the spring or summer and just, you know, going around town and just being so comfortable. It literally feels like I have nothing on my body and I'm so here for that, especially in the summer when you're sweating a lot. I feel like it's nice to not have things that are super tight. So this is actually an amazing summer dress. It has pockets and I'm just super pumped. I think the color is amazing. I can see myself wearing this with a cute sandal and if I wanted to like take a photo in it or something, I could like pose with it to make it look really cute. But I think it's just a really, really comfy dress. I actually don't don't mind the high neckline. I don't wear a lot of higher necklines, but really don't mind it. So this is what it looks like though. And I'm just obsessed with the color. I think it's so cute and just a really, really good length for a sandal or a heel. The next thing that I got is a Madewell sweater. This one is also a size small, so I'm not positive it's gonna fit me super well, but this is a little heart sweater. And it's this gorgeous mustard yellow. And I really hope that this looks good on because I just thought this would be so cute because it's almost Valentine's Day. And I just, I don't know. I really wanted to jump on the theme. So I'm really excited and it's a middle piece, so it's super nice. But again, if it doesn't fit, I'll probably just listen on Poshmark. But I just took a risk and picked up every single Madewell piece I found, regardless if it was gonna fit me or not, because I was just so excited. So we'll see. Y'all, how cute is this heart sweater? This is definitely a piece that I probably would not pay full price for just because it is, you know, very themed. But I am so, so excited that I found this at a thrift store. I think this is so cute. I I love the bubble sleeves. It is a little bit big on me because the sleeves are just so, so long on my short arms, but I just think it's so cute. I'm gonna try to tuck it up so that I can see what it looks like cropped, but I think that the color is amazing. I love that it's not pink with hearts, but I really, really like this camel color. It is so, so cozy. I cannot get over how soft this sweater is, and I'm just 
I'm so excited that I found this. Okay, so I just tucked it up under my bra really quick, but I really like the way that it looks cropped. I just love the sweater so much. I think it's so cute. And the sleeves are amazing, even though they are a little bit long on me. I think they're just so fun and dramatic. So I'm really, really excited that I found this. And I think this is going to be so cute for February. The next Madewell piece that I found is this striped blouse. This is a wrap top, so it crosses in the front. It's got these cute little stripes. I thought this would be adorable for the spring. Cute little sleeves. So I really like this pattern though. And I thought that this would be so, so cute. So this is the striped wrap top. And I think the pattern is so, so cute. I do think because it's not my size, it is fitting a little bit strange on me. So I'm not totally positive. I'm going to keep this one. I might list this one on my Poshmark. But I do think that the stripe is so cute. And it is like the perfect pattern for spring and summer. So I don't know. I really want to make it work. But I'm not totally convinced that I like the fit on me. I just wish that it fit me better. Next piece is another thing from Universal Thread, which is basically... Basically just Target's version of Madewell, but I got this wrap top. It's like almost the exact same thing as the one I just showed y'all, but in yellow. It has the cutest little floral pattern, and then it has the tie in the front, but I just thought this was so cute, and it, it just looks like Madewell, so this one... I got for $2.98. Okay, so this is the Universal Threads top and it just kills me how much their stuff looks like Madewell, but I think this is such a pretty color. I love the yellow and the tiny flower detail on it is super cute. Again though, I feel like this doesn't fit me very well. I wish that there wasn't as much fabric down here. So I don't know if this is a total win, but I do really like the color. I just wish that these were my size. I definitely took a risk by picking up all of this stuff and not being able to try it on in the store but i think this is so so cute i just love the color and the little tie at the bottom next piece is another universal thread piece i feel like i just went and shopped at madewell and target for this entire haul but this one i thought was so cute look at this sweater i'm pretty sure madewell like literally has a sweater just like this i love the color it's this beautiful mauve and then the knit pattern is so so cute i do not have a sweater anything like this so i'm really excited for this and it has the bubble sleeve which we love guys i am literally dead over this sweater i wish it was still like the holiday season because i do feel like it feels very holiday but it's so cute this is what the detail of the knit looks like it's so pretty i love the pattern the sleeves are absolutely amazing but i'm going to tuck it up under my bra and see what it looks like cropped but i wanted you guys to see the full length it's just so cozy i want to be able to wear it before i don't know before it gets warm but it it does feel very holiday. I love the way that it looks cropped, like tucked into jeans. I think this is so cute. Again, it just gives a little bit more shape. I am so obsessed with this sweater. I want to wear it so bad. Do you guys feel like I can wear this before spring? Does it feel too holiday? I don't know. Something about it just makes me feel like it's Christmassy, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below if you think I can get away with wearing this before spring. The next piece is a Madewell piece, and I'm pretty sure this one is like silk. This is actually the first Madewell piece that I found on that rack which made me start looking for the other ones and this one is so gorgeous this is a blouse and I absolutely love this pattern it's the most beautiful like dainty floral pattern and then it has the cute little gathered sleeve and it is a baby doll style top so I'm really excited to try this one on see how it fits this one is definitely supposed to fit loose so I feel like it's gonna be fine and I think is it a small yeah it's a size small so I just cannot believe I found so many cute cute pieces. Okay, I think this might be my favorite piece from the entire haul. I am obsessed with this silk shirt. It is so, so cute. It's the perfect pink. It's not like too pink. It's a little bit like salmon-y and I just... I just love this so much. I am so glad I found this. If I had not found anything else, I'm just glad I found this shirt because this is the cutest top ever. I love the baby doll style neckline and then the sleeves are just, oh, it just fits so well. I'm so happy. Not all the tops fit perfect like this one, but this one actually fits so well and I could not be more excited. And then I would probably wear it like tucked into my jeans kind of like this, but I just think this is so cute and it's just perfect for spring. I cannot wait to wear this. Once it gets warm enough outside, I'm going to throw this top on. This is just adorable. I mean, this pattern, so, so cute. The next thing is not Madewell, but I literally died when I saw this. You guys know all of my 
best like loungewear sweaters just stuff that i wear in the morning or at nighttime are all thrifted and i just found another one that i know you guys are going to ask me about all the time on instagram i always get dms about my thrifted sweaters because i wear them over and over and over again in the morning and this is going to be one that i know you guys are going to really want to know about so this is a green zip up and i just love this color it has a leather pull right here this is a brand called natural collections i don't know what that is i'm sure you guys know what this is but i got this for ten dollars it has pockets in the front but i love this color this is like my favorite shade of green this like beautiful like forest green and i am probably gonna throw this on when i finish filming this video okay i'm dead this is the best thing i've literally ever found it is so cozy i feel like the color is not even showing up correctly on camera it is the most perfect green i could ever find it kind of looks like blue gray on camera but trust me it is the most beautiful green zip up and it's got pockets and it just fits so cozy so definitely gonna keep this on after this video but i am just obsessed i find my best like pullovers and sweatshirts and all that stuff at like goodwills and thrift stores so that is my like number one tip look for those types of pieces at goodwill because you can seriously find some amazing just like loungewear pieces and this one i die like it's so good. The next piece is a, I don't know what this brand is, Cabi, C-A-B-I. I don't think it's vintage. It doesn't look vintage, but I thought again, it looked like a Madewell top. This is such a cute button down top. It has stripes on the front and it looks like it's linen. I really like the texture and the boxiness of this piece. It looks like you could find this at Madewell or Target. So it just fits right in with this whole haul. Okay, but like, how is this not a Madewell top? Seriously, this looks just like Madewell and it is so cute. I love the fit of this. It's super boxy, just very loose and comfy. And I feel like this would look so cute tied. I might try to tie it in the front so you guys can see what it looks like tied, but I just like how loose it is. It's so comfortable. Okay, so this is what it looks like tied really quick. I probably would need to spend a little bit more time and make it look good, but you get the idea. I think it's so cute. I love the material of this top. And then this is what it looks like tucked. And I think I like this look better than it tied because it tied looked a little bulky, but I think this top is so, so cute. Is it not just the most adorable thing ever? perfect for the spring i can totally see this with white shorts or denim shorts and it's just a super cute casual piece and then the last piece is a madewell top this is another wrap top and this one is actually in an extra small so this one might fit me better but this one has the wrap in the front and then it's got these really really cute stars and then it has some buttons on the sleeves so i just thought this was so cute and again doesn't even matter i just had to grab all the male pieces that i could find okay i feel like i've tried on more wrap tops in this haul than i ever have in my life i don't know how i found so many wrap tops but this one is so cute i'm obsessed with the shade of pink it's like the most beautiful like peachy color and it has stars on it so i love the pattern and i just think this is so so cute this one actually fits me pretty well it's actually a little bit more of a structured fabric than the universal thread top But I just think this is so so cute and it's pretty girly You don't see me in pink very often, but I kind of come alive come spring and summer I start to wear more colors I feel like in the fall you guys just see me in like black and in neutral colors But in the spring and summer, I really like to wear more fun and girly things So I'm really excited that I have all these new cute tops to break out And I think this would be just so cute with a pair of denim shorts but those are all of the pieces that I grabbed in this haul. I seriously cannot believe that I found that much Madewell. I honestly can't believe someone just dropped off that much Madewell at Music City Thrift, but that's why it's like my favorite place to thrift. I feel like I always find good stuff. Didn't I call that at the beginning of this video? I was like, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna find amazing stuff because I always find stuff here. And I, you know, I wasn't very positive towards the end of my thrifting experience because I was like, what if I actually don't find anything? Cause I didn't really have that much stuff. And then I stumbled across the entire rack of Madewell. So I feel really good about this haul. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite piece was. If you are new here and you want to stick around and see the rest of my thrifting videos, I have a playlist linked down below. But hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you back on my channel and I will see you guys in my next one very, very soon. Bye y'all.